Good morning. My name is Barb Malera. I'm with the team at Harvesting History. Harvesting History is an upstate New York heirloom horticultural company. We specialize in heirloom seeds and roots and sets and flower bulbs. Today we're going to be talking about planting peas. Before we actually get into the planting though, we're going to go inside and try to teach you a little bit about the different kinds of peas that are available for you to plant and to eat. Peas, along with beans and grains, are actually the oldest cultivated plants that have been associated with humankind. We found, scientists have found pea evidence in a lakefront site in Switzerland that is dated to the Bronze Age. And they've also found evidence of peas in a cave site in Hungary that is a prehistoric cave site that actually way predates the Swiss site. So humans have been eating peas for a long, long time. Now, peas were also known to the Romans and the Greeks, but they weren't too fond of this fruit. And it wasn't until the Norman conquest of Great Britain that peas actually began to grow in popularity. And that's simply because Great Britain is the perfect pea growing environment. Colonists brought peas to the United States with the very earliest colonists. They were known way, way before the 1700s. Now, today in our primer on peas, we're gonna talk a little bit about the kinds of peas that are available today. There are actually three different kinds of peas that are grown and eaten today. I've brought the three kinds of peas so that you can see the difference in these peas. In this little basket, we have the English pea. And of course, this is out of the pod. These peas are born in a very round, large pod and then when it's time for them to be harvested you break the pod apart and you harvest the individual peas. These are known as English peas or garden peas or shelling peas. To my right I have the edible pod pea which many of us have always called snow peas. Edible pod peas are harvested when the peas are very, very immature. And I need to warn you, they are incredibly sweet. If you want to get a child hooked on peas, the best thing to do is take them to the garden and introduce them to edible pod peas because they're just as sweet as candy and the children will fall in love. The only problem with edible pod peas grown in a home garden is they rarely make it out of the garden to the kitchen because they usually are consumed way before you get to your house. Now, the final pea is called a snap pea, and it is related to the edible pod pea in that they're both harvested and eaten with the peas in the pod. The snap pea is, is much rounder than the totally flat edible pod pea and it's called a snap pea because when you snap it it snaps and you eat the peas inside whoa these are really sweet i think it's time we cut the video and i'll take a pea eating break well, now we're back outside. I hope you learned something about our little discourse on the different kinds of peas. But we really need to get down to the real business of actually planting the peas. You are looking at peas that are being coated with something called inoculant. Inoculant is a bacteria. It's a rhizomatous bacteria that fixes nitrogen in the soil. Now, if you're me, you're saying, I have absolutely no idea what she's talking about. And uh, it took a fair amount of research on my part to understand. But fixing nitrogen in the soil with inoculant is a very worthwhile endeavor. What this bacteria does is it creates nodules on the 
roots, on the very early roots of the pea plant. And those nodules allow the pea plant to take in nitrogen through its root system and to distribute it throughout the plant. What nitrogen does is it helps the plant to produce green growth and it makes the plant stronger and healthier. Nitrogen along with phosphorus and potassium are the three most important chemical nutrients in growing green things. If you wanted to, you could just put the pea seeds into the soil and then sprinkle the inoculant on top. Uh, it's probably a little bit more efficient to coat the pea seeds before you plant them. As seeds go, pea seeds are fairly large and because of that, you can plant them fairly deep. So what I have done is dig a trench that's roughly an inch and to an inch and a half deep and I have begun to place my coated pea seeds into the trench at a distance of about two inches between each pea seed. You know, this can be a little on the tedious side, but every two inches. Now the reason I like to put them every two inches because peas really should be separated by between four and six inches is I thin the peas as they are two to four inch sprouts and I use the sprouts in salads. They're delicious. Some of them are actually quite sweet in salads. And then I take the leftover inoculant and sprinkle it all along the trench. Now, two last things. First of all, I have to cover my, I've been calling it a trench, but actually it's hardly worthy of the word trench. It's probably a trenchette or a trenchito or a mini trench. That's the first thing you do. And then the second thing you do after you pat down the soil is say, sleep tight my little ones, I'll see you in the spring. I hope you have enjoyed today's little story about planting seeds and that you will do two things for me. You will share it with as many of your friends as possible and you will come to our website which is detailed at the bottom of the video www.harvesting-history.com and read a little bit more about peas and their history. Remember, this is a horticultural heirloom company. We believe strongly that everybody should understand and appreciate the legacy that we all share when it comes to our horticultural history. I hope you leave this video with a smile on your face and I'll see you soon.